Hi, this is Nurse Carrie with Home Instead Senior Care. We also have Pauline with us, and Pauline, she lives here at our mock apartment at our office. Um, today you'll learn about tips that make it successful for visually impaired or blind people to feed themselves or be as independent as possible. First thing you can do to make them successful is have as many lights on that are available. As we age, we need more light to see. If we are, we are visually impaired, we need more light, and if we're legally blind, we need more light. Also, their other senses are more keen, so try to reduce a bunch of the background noise as much as possible so that they can focus more on what they can see, what they can smell, and what they can taste. You can start by breaking the plate down like a clock. So you would have the four quadrants, so one would be noon, three, six, and nine. So you could describe the plate, I'll describe the plate to Pauline. Um, at 12 o'clock, that's your ham. Three o'clock, your mashed potatoes. Six o'clock, um, your peas. Nine o'clock, um, some applesauce. And we could definitely assist them hand over hand if they're unsure. We could guide them as to where those are. If we are feeding them, we want to be speaking with them, be at eye level so they feel comfortable. Do not make them feel rushed and alternate between food choices. We don't want to just feed all of the mashed potatoes, take a drink and then move to all of the ham. We wanna alternate between that. And we always wanna offer choices. Would you like a bite of your ham or your mashed potatoes so that they can choose? Always give them two choices. If they have dementia, they may not understand. So you may need to just take some mashed potatoes and say, here is your food. Um, and then, you know, again, go to alternate choices as you feed them. They may also have um, arthritis in their hands where they can't hold on to things very well or they're very weak or sore. They do make quite a few of adaptive equipment items. Um, most of them involve having a bigger handle for them to hold on to so they could cut their own food. They have spoons like this. Um, they also have weighted spoons that are chunky for people with Parkinson's that have tremors. So a weighted spoon reduces their amount of tremors so they actually will have some food on by the time they get it up to their mouth. So again, we never want to make them feel uncomfortable. We want to work with what they have and not comment about what they don't have because everyone wants to be independent.